we are. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? We are here to unbox our new espresso maker. Why did we get an espresso maker? So we've been spending a lot of money at Starbucks lately, and we decided why not just buy an espresso maker? It'd probably save us a lot of money. You know it's espresso, right? Oh, yes, espresso. Okay. Right. Save some money, try it on our own, experiment. Yep. So this is what we got. Blonde beans, dark beans. I like the blonde. We already had a grinder. Full disclosure, I've made espresso in the past with various machines. This will be the first time trying this one. Yep. So we already took it out of the Amazon box. You ready for this? Yes. All right. Got some uh, instructions here. Yeah. Scoop for the coffee and for, smashing uh, it. Smashing it. There's a technical term for that. I I'll ask some of our barista friends. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do you want to do this? Let's lay it this way. Show the camera. Oh yeah. Let's get it started. Why don't you walk down the other side and pull it out? Alright. So here we go. Oh, very loud. Packaged well. Alright, now come around this side. Okay. Take that cool stuff off. Ooh, nice and clean. Yep. Taking all this. Wrapping off. As you can see, you've got a very nice clean espresso maker. It does look nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, how much was this espresso maker again? It's like 275 bucks or something like that. And how many coffees would that be? Well, mine costs $389. I'll also say four bucks. Yours is five bucks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, 20 of yours costs 100 bucks. Yeah. So it's not going to take long to pay for itself. Yeah, exactly. All right, so there it is. It's got a water reservoir and a milk reservoir. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. I've already read the directions, so we do have to do a burn-in or something. We have to run water through it. Okay. No milk. So we'll take a break here and we'll get back with you when we're ready to do the do the run through. So as we're going through this, we wanted to show the parts, right? Yep. So this is the filter, the filter holder. And then it came with uh, two different filters, two different depths. Can you see that? Be able to see that. So one's for a single shot, one's for a double shot espresso. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. And we got all the stickers and tags taken off of it. Mm -hmm. So I think we're, now we're ready to uh, fill it up with water and plug it in. Yep. We'll be with you in a second. And then uh, so we've got. Let's see. This is the this is gonna be the milk reservoir filled up with water, and then the water reservoir filled up with water. And then we're gonna attach the milk reservoir. Slides right in there. Positive lock. I don't know. Right. Did we press the clean? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. It says remove stickers and labels. We did that. Remove red plug. Did that. Remove and wash the water reservoir, milk reservoir, in soapy water. Yeah. We need to do that. Um, what could possibly be on that to hurt us? <laughs> COVID. Oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we got demonetized for that. Uh, let's see. Follow steps listed on preparing the cappuccino section using water in both reservoirs, no ground coffee. Okay. To prime the unit, run the steam cycle by following the following steps. Fill the water reservoir, milk reservoir, select one of the filters, place it in the port of filter. Mm -hmm. Make sure the tip of the oh wait a second, place it in the and place a large cup under it. So oh. let's get a cup. Yeah. A large cup. Oh, very nice. That. Ooh. All right. Okay, and 
make sure to the, 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 the plug the appliance, turn the power on, so it's we've on. got the power switch on. Mm -hmm. The two control panel lights, espresso heater and steam heater, will start blinking. That's these two. Mm -hmm. uh, once they're solid, press the manual espresso button. The water will flow and stop automatically. So do you see... Manual espresso button? Right manual espresso button. Right there. What a rip. Here goes nothing. Wait for it. Oh, no, oh, it's vibrating. Whoa. It's vibing. Hear that? Mm. It sounds exciting. Sounds like a fresh cup of coffee. Yeah, a fresh cup of steamed water. Mm. Yum. Almost as good as a latte. <laughs> That'll wake you up on it. Nothing like steamed water. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Here we go. We got the steamed stay, water, yo. Stay wide with them. If somebody's getting a close up, just stay wide with them. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's hot. People snap out of this. Alright, so it finished, right? And it says to dispose of the water in the cup, place it back <laughs> in the unit. Dispose of the water in the cup and place it back in the unit. Dispose oh. of the, the so water in the cup. Put that in there. Put the cut back. Okay. Not sure that we need to see. Press the manual froth button. Oh, so now we gotta do the milk side. The uh, water. Whoa! Whoa! Pretty steamy. So now it's time to uh, grind some coffee beans. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with, uh, I guess try to do a mocha, but everybody's going to laugh because we have no clue what we're doing here. Might be the worst so, mocha ever. Yes. Total, total experiment. With the very few amount of people watching us, I doubt there's going to be any coffee experts I don't know. in what the if, audience. What if London watches? She'll be embarrassed. She okay. watches. We're just... Uh, All right. So, so the grind is super important. It says here in the thing it should be like a table salt. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always found that if you pulse this, it works better. It does it more uniformly than if you just hold it. Hmm. If you hold it down, then you end up with some coarse and some fine. So that's like 15 pulses. Somebody close? You getting close on that? This is what I would normally do for drip coffee. Got that? So we're going to keep going on. It's going to be fire. Oh, okay. So you don't want it to be powder. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really good. Really powdery? No, I don't want it to be too powdery. I don't know. You're the grind expert. There's so. some, I'm not an expert. Now, the real question is where in the world do we put this? That goes in here. Oh. This is the <coughs> coffee filter. I think it just comes around. Now, like I said, you twist it. It's like notched, so you gotta get it in the right spot. I think. There we go. So. Oh, here, you want to do this? Scoop it into there, and we want this to be flat. Scoop on the top. Did it. Jerry, the meat tenderizer is back. Do we just uh, fill that to the brim? Yeah, we want to fill it to the brim, and you're going to use that. No, you're going to use this to pat it down. You want it to be pretty tight, I think. It's not going to be bad. Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. It should work, right? Mm hmm. So now, there we go. 
Now that's locked in there. And then that goes back into there. You want to do that? Yep. This is a really good shot. I think we should keep it. Yeah, I think so too. It's like half of your arm and then uh, your, your side. Yeah. Okay. Well, you That's ruined so. it. Now I'll get some milk some water. You get the milk. So it says not to go above max. Just fill it up because I got a feeling you guys are going to want to make a few drinks here. Good. That's pretty good, yeah. Uh, fill it to the max. I looked up online and it said that you should put the espresso in first and then mix around, mix the mocha in and then you put the froth in. Fair enough. Alright, so we got water, we got milk. Go ahead put that up. Put that under there. Now what do we hit here? Hold on a second. We want to do... Latte. Well you're doing a mocha, right? It is yeah. a mocha latte. Small. Is that it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Awesome. Perfect. Real life, guys. So this is like the amount of frog here. I don't know. No espresso yet. Kind of weird because we probably should have read up on these buttons. Were you supposed to put the espresso one first and then the frothing? Which one? espresso one? The manual espresso. I don't know. Oh, wait. Mm. Ah, look at that. <coughs> look at that. Mm. So there goes the espresso. There's your shot of espresso and your milk. So I think that that's it. it. That's it. That's the entire thing. Yep. So now we put the mocha in? Now you put the mocha in, I think. Let's see how it looks. Make a little hard. Go for it. You're just going to squirt it. No, measure it. You goofball. No, we're not that. We're not that technical, man. Okay. Clearly, we got milk all over the machine here. So. Thought that was part of the process. I'd go with more than that. Alright. So, are you going to be the first taste tester, Hezekiah? Sure. Go, Bob. Let's get, let's get him here. Hold on, Hezekiah. Here we go for the first test. Mmm. Are you faking it or what, man? That's okay. really this, good. This isn't a sponsored video. It's really so. good. I don't have any sponsors. He's lying. Is it not? Mmm. It's good. Be honest. I'm on, honestly, it is very good taste. Pretty much act. like Starbucks, like really. Does it really? Is it yeah, close it to is Starbucks? really good. You should really try. It. Just all right. Oh. I'll blow some carbs here. Let's see. 
<laughs> oh my god. I like it. Yeah. Is that as sweet as the one you would get at Starbucks? I mean, I mean, maybe I need to put a little bit more mocha in, but otherwise, well, let me is, try. It is perfect. All right. Let it's the cameraman try. And Joe wants to try it. Ow, it's Come hot. over here and get in the camera. Look in the camera. What do you think? Okay. It tastes like a. Ah, uh, it hot. Do you want more? It mocha? tastes like a latte. Yeah. It needs more mocha. Yeah, let's put this. No, do it. It's the only do difference it. between this do and a Starbucks it. latte do is the it. flavor. All right, what are we gonna make next? My whipped cream. Oh, caramel. No, let's not do the cream. Wait, can we make a macchiato on that? I say we a try. Macchiato is just uh, macchiato is a Italian for mark or something. How they make the mark with the espresso right on the top. Cappuccino. That doesn't change my question. Uh, we can make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the macchiato just a latte? So no, I no, macchiato I think macchiato I think is a cappuccino. Yeah. It's like a cappuccino. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's have a clean up on aisle five here. That's not aisle five. That's the kitchen, silly. Oh, sorry. Ugh. 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 All right, that was success. Are we rolling? Yep. Yep. So that was success. So now let's try a cappuccino. And once again. Syrup at first. So now we're making a caramel cappuccino. That looks like right. whiskey. Kinda, yeah. Beer. So how much would we put in? I don't know. You like how much Let's do see you what this want? Is. As much as is needed. One cup of coffee, a splash of <laughs> a splash of this, and then milk or cream. So splash. Let's go with. What did you do? <laughs> All right. Nothing. It's not going to be good. Okay. It's better. All right, so let's try the... Uh... Man Manuel. No, let's do cappuccino here. Should we... See, you could do you could do espresso by itself if you wanted to do something in between. Um, but do we want to try doing the... Just the... That first? The espresso first? Mixing into it? Or how does the cappuccino well, what's work? What's the difference, I wonder, between this and this? I wonder. We need to look that up. We should read the directions at some point. I'm just gonna hit cappuccino though. Okay. When I mean, you want a cappuccino, I guess hit cappuccino. Oh, We should get cups like uh, Starbucks does. Well, that didn't last as long there. I think it's more of the espresso and then cappuccino looks like on the these Maybe. handy little nifty little things. I wonder if it's going to have more froth or not. Nope, that's it. Is that it? Yes, that's what you get. That's the whole cappuccino. I guess we just need to pick a bigger size next time. Yeah, we'll time. have to do a bigger, or this is, this is one shot. Or is this one shot, two shot, or is this? I mean, this is, we only used one shot, so. This is the two shot. Oh, that's true. How will it tell? You put the right button. <laughs> and let's go. So let's go for the bigger cup. And let's see what happens. like a third of the cup of milk now. Mm -hmm. So let's, well now we'll see how much espresso we get. Man, that kind of looks blonde. 
You kind of look blonde. That's a pretty big cup. That looks good. I like this. This okay. is turning out better. Let's Let it finish fresh. dripping. Stir it. So hold you, on, hold on. Stop your... Did you... <laughs> did you pick Harmelin beforehand? I did, but I put much less. So I looked up, and Starbucks actually puts in a one tablespoon of vanilla. Is that good? It doesn't taste like caramel at all. So now, you, so then you add some more caramel to it until you get it right. Yeah, it tastes like pure coffee. Or put in some um, vanilla. Vanilla extract? That's what they said. Like, should we try that? I mean, that's what it showed on the thing. It maybe said not one a tablespoon. tablespoon. Maybe not a tablespoon. That's what it showed. Maybe a, tea, maybe a teaspoon you like first. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, because that stuff's concentrated. Oh, it, it is a teaspoon. <laughs> yeah. This is a teaspoon. Is that vanilla extract? Uh, imitation vanilla extract. And wait, no, it's vanilla syrup, not vanilla extract. <laughs> This guy, can you not read okay. it? Just, just put a drop of that. Just put it, just, it's just a little bit in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's used in baking and stuff. Yeah, but it, it's very concentrated, so be careful. Not too much. Not even a full teaspoon. Yeah. Explode. Like a half of that. Yeah, I did very little. Oh, it's... There you go. <sighs> okay, so now I'll do one teaspoon. Oh, no, 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 no. I would do, I would do, I would do half of that. Half of that. It is drizzled on top of Starbucks. Yeah, they just drizzle it. Here's what Starbucks yeah. is. Now stir, stir, and, and taste it until you find out. Here we go, here we go. Stir that thing up and eat it all. I haven't burnt my thumb. Mm. What do you think? Good, Good there. Three sips. That's much better. Stopping. Can I try? Yeah. Here we go. We just need to get the amounts down, and then we'll be able to. It'll be just mm -hmm. like Starbucks. Yeah, that is good. Can I try it? No. Just today. It's a little hot, though. Um. Actually, no. No one. What? No one. No. Let me like take the cam camera from you. Stand over there next to Hezekiah. I don't like hot it's stuff. It's really hot though. So how does it taste? Good. Yeah. So mission success. Let it go now. Alright. <laughs> so we made three cups of coffee so far. All tasted really good. A lot like Starbucks and pretty happy about this machine. Yeah, it works. Good. It works well. Mm -hmm. Alright.